just taking a quick first look at my TacLife Digital Multimeter DM09 model. It comes in a nice little box which is shrink wrapped to keep it clean in transit and so on. And inside the box there's the instructions and the warranty card, uh, some batteries for the multimeter and a set of rather nice looking test leads which have got uh, plugs and so on in which we'll have a look at in a minute. And here's the meter. It's got quite a lot of different ranges on it. Um, and I've only really started to find uh, all of them now. There's the stand there, which enables you to stand it up, and there's a screw which you undo to get into the battery compartment. They provide you with a screwdriver for actually getting the battery compartment off, which is a nice uh, touch. Um, and here's the uh, leads again. You pull the dust plugs out of the end of the bit that plugs into the multimeter, and plug it into the multimeter like that. And the uh, black one's already ready to go, so I'll just plug that straight in. And then in order to use it, you need to pull the... Uh, covers off the ends of the leads and I'm just going to do a quick test on the resistance range to make sure that it measures more or less a short circuit when you touch the two leads together. You'll notice the readings take a bit of time to settle down. It's not quite as fast as a professional meter would be but for a home user it's pretty good and it does give a lot of extra functions which you don't normally get. Uh, so there's the uh, resistance range and next I'm going to have a quick look at the um, DC voltage range. So there, there's the resistance range on uh, naught and now I'm measuring a one and a half volt battery. First of all I put the leads on deliberately the wrong way around and it measures 1 .6, minus 1.6 and then I'll put them on the right way around and it'll measure plus 1.6. I'm sorry that the video is a mirror image. I'm not quite sure why that is. I might see if I can rotate it in a minute. So since I did the filming I've been doing some more working with the meter. Um, the non-contact voltage range is quite useful because it enables you to detect wires that are buried in the wall and the frequency range if you put the wires on and hold them near something which is carrying an alternating current, like a mains cable for example, it'll show you the frequency, which in my case of course gave 50 hertz. Um, there's a torch on the multimeter, there's a torch button on the multimeter, and there's also a hold button to hold the reading, and there's a button called Select VFC, which changes the measuring mode in some of the ranges. It's actually quite a sophisticated meter, far more sophisticated than I was expecting, and certainly it's got everything that the average home user is going to need.